red lionfish even scare the hell out of sharks. Sharks are the deadliest predators on Earth. They can rip prey apart with just one bite, but even sharks tend to keep their distance when it comes to the red lionfish. It is one of the most beautiful fish from afar, but can really show predators who's boss. Join us as we reveal where this fish can be found and what to do if you're attacked by the red lionfish. It's not very likely that you've seen the red lionfish before, but perhaps you have come across it in some video games. We know for a fact that the mobile application Hungry Sharp Evolution featured the lionfish. How many of you remember how annoying it was to die to those red floaty lionfish? If you have played that game, you would know how lionfish defend themselves against predators. Once they identify a predator, their gentle-looking flamboyant fins turn into deadly venomous needles. Upon stinging, it releases neurotoxic venom into the victim, inflicting extreme pain. Its spines carry the venom, and upon injection, the venom is transferred into the victims using glands. Sometimes, the spines are left in the wound after the sting. Trust us, their sting is unlike anything you have felt before. The best way to not get stung by lionfish is to stay well away from any places they are known to be found in. The red lionfish is native to coral reefs in the South Pacific and the Indian Ocean. In recent years, however, lionfish have spread into areas in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea. The secret behind their rapid spread to areas outside of their native waters is their ability to reproduce rapidly. One male lionfish can mate with several females, and one female can lay up to 2 million eggs in one year. This means if as little as two lionfish wander into a new area, they can multiply into millions of lionfish by the end of the year. These millions of lionfish go pretty much unharmed through their lifetimes because very few predators prefer lionfish as prey. No one wants to eat something that has the ability to sting you, if they can spot you creeping up. The rapid rate of reproduction and the low rate of death makes this fish difficult to contain. We wouldn't be surprised if other oceans or seas are soon added to the list of known lionfish homes. But for now, we recommend you take care if you go scuba diving in the four areas mentioned. If the circumstances force you to face off against a lionfish, here is what you should expect to see and what it means. First things first, the lionfish is not an aggressive fish. It uses its deadly weapons purely for self-defense. But if you think it won't attack you and go up to it and have a closer look at its beautiful fins, you're in for a lot of pain. You are running the risk of being mistaken as a predator. And once the lionfish feels a predator is around, its smooth flowing fins turn into hard needles. This fact should help you know what's going on in the lionfish's mind. If you see the fins flapping around calmly, the lionfish hasn't yet noticed you approaching. However, if the fins are stiff, keep your distance. Keep in mind that if you can sneak up on it, it can sneak up on you too. The lionfish doesn't mean to sting anything that isn't a threat, but if it is swimming around and you accidentally step on it or get too close without seeing it, it can turn very bad for you very quickly. Even sharks are only attacked when the lionfish feels threatened. Their venom is in their spines, which makes it especially hard for sharks to eat them. Every time a shark comes close, those spines pop out, as if it's looking for a fight. Even if the shark manages to completely sneak up on the lionfish, the spines enter the shark's mouth as well, and so does the poison. Humans, however, have managed to try the lionfish out as well, and it is said to be very tasty if prepared right. Not very tasty for other predators, though. So it is unlikely that the red lionfish will be aggressive towards humans. Usually, lionfish stings are accidental, but if you find yourself at a beach a lot, it won't hurt to know what to do should you get stung by a lionfish. First things first, you need to know what stung you. The beach is full of creatures that can sting. The most common culprit behind these people screaming in pain is jellyfish. On other occasions, crabs have bitten people walking around on the sand. The pain may feel similar, but the symptoms and remedies vary. In the case of a lionfish sting, symptoms can develop within a few minutes to a few hours. The biggest tell is swelling, but other symptoms include tenderness, redness around the sting site, swelling, and a tingling sensation. If even some of these symptoms are seen, you should know what is wrong and should treat it immediately. So, listen closely because we are arriving at the part you have waited for since the start. Depending on how bad the sting was, people sometimes find spines still stuck to the wound. These spines hold the venom, and if they are still attached, there may be some venom left in the spines. 
The first thing to do is remove the spines from your skin. Be careful not to squeeze the venom glands because that would inject more venom into your body. Once the spines are out, the next thing to do is wash the area with soap and water. This ensures that no impurities are left on the wound. Next, soak the wound in hot water. This water should be hot, but not too hot to cause burns. If you have prescribed painkillers available in your home, we recommend taking some to fight the pain. And once the pain has died down, you are free to look for professional medical attention. If your tetanus immunization has expired, rush to your doctor and get a tetanus shot. A tetanus shot is important to prevent the possibility of a tetanus infection on an open wound. Since the sting leaves an opening in the skin, a tetanus shot is necessary. There is no need to get a tetanus shot if you already have a valid tetanus immunization. An adult needs a tetanus booster shot every 10 years. Decide whether you need another shot accordingly. These immediate remedies are only to decrease the pain. Sometimes, when the sting isn't as severe, these may work to eliminate all effects of the sting. But on occasion, the venom can be too much for your body to handle on its own. After soaking your wound in hot water and taking painkillers, if you feel faint, have muscle aches, cramps, fever, paralysis, or see pieces of spine still inside the wound, rush to an emergency room. If you are at a location where you can't make it to an urgent care center soon enough, look up the number for your local poison control and call them to your location. Congratulations, you now know how to react should you get stung by a lionfish. These tricks aren't much to remember, but they may save you or someone else's life someday. There are some stories recorded where these tricks came in handy and helped some people overcome lionfish stings. Since the lionfish is so beautiful to look at and has a certain peacefulness about the way it floats effortlessly in the water, people usually keep them in aquariums. A 62-year-old woman was one of those who chose to keep lionfish as pets. She was cleaning the aquarium when she got stung by her pet lionfish. Her finger swelled up almost instantly, and before the pain got too much, she was advised to soak her finger in hot water. She used some over-the-counter pain medications, which bought her enough time to get medical attention. She recovered the very next day, and all effects of the sting were gone. Another instance where knowledge of a lionfish sting came in handy was when a 57-year-old man accidentally put too much food in the aquarium. He got stung while reaching in and taking some excess food out. His hand was swollen, red, and even bleeding, but timely management of the wound helped him control the pain. He went to the emergency room where he was given antibiotics and painkillers. Within four days, he had fully recovered. From these stories, you know that these tricks work and may one day save you or someone else's life. That makes it even more important to send this video to your friends. One thing is for sure, we are not going to try petting any pretty looking fish anytime soon.